Once we have our Christmas list done, we're going to calculate the total cost and then we're going to use that to figure out what we would be uh, paying in monthly payments if we were going to pay off that uh, using monthly installments and that's particularly useful uh, if you're trying to figure out your payments with interest. Uh, because anytime you borrow money from a lending institution, whether it's a mortgage, a car loan, or uh, a line of credit, uh, student loan, anything, you're going to be paying interest on it. Uh, and then those calculations become really uh, difficult to figure out. So we have an equation in here that will actually figure out those payments for us. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to calculate the total amount of our loan, which is going to be, of course, our total cost for our Christmas presents holiday presents. So to do that we're going to go to that amount of loan and we're going to make that equal to the sum of our total cost for all our presents. So you do a sum equation there and then we're going to go find out what the prime rate is for lending right now in Canada. Uh, in, and normally that wouldn't be the, the rate you would get on everything. Uh, but the prime rate right now that we're going to be looking at is 3.95% and then the years to pay off uh, this d it depends really on what your loan is and how long you want to pay it off if it was a, a house mortgage generally they're 25 years uh, but if it was a loan from the bank it could be more or less than that depending on what your payments are so we'll start with a 25 year payment uh, just because mine is there is a house in mine a Scottish castle so it's quite expensive so we're going to try and pay that off over 25 years to keep our monthly payments down a little bit if it's a car payment you're probably looking at five to six years uh, but generally a house payment's 25. If it's a student loan, uh, you'd have to work that out with them. Could pay it off in, in 10 years, depending on how much you have borrowed. So I'm going to put 25 years to pay off, and then I'm going to calculate this using that equation. So that equation looks like equals PMT, which is your payment, and then you are going to put in your rate, which is your interest, interest rate, but you're going to divide that by 12, because it's over 12 months. And then you are going to put in the period, which is going to be the number of years, but again, we're paying monthly, so it's the number of years times 12. And then we're going to put in our actual, uh, what we've borrowed, and that is the amount of our loan. And we need to put in a negative or a minus in front of that to show that we owe them that money. That's not money that they're paying back to us. So it has to be shown as a negative balance. So I'll put that negative in, press enter, and now I get my actual what I have to pay them, which is a lot more than I'm going to be able to pay, $20,000 a month. So I'm thinking that maybe that Scottish Castle might be out of my payment range to able to pay back. And then we're going to calculate our total paid after that and to calculate our total paid which is what we actually end up paying back if we were to make these monthly payments over 25 years and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to times so I'll go equals and I'm going to times this by this by 12 which is how many months are in a year over 25 years which means the total amount that I would be paying back on this loan Paying it back at twenty thousand plus dollars per month would be a grand total of six million one hundred eighty four thousand one hundred and eleven and ninety five cents. So I'm paying back, uh, you know, two and a half, not quite two and a half million dollars more than what I actually borrowed, uh, which is a significant amount. Now you can play with these numbers and change that. So if I get a better interest rate, if I change that down to say two percent. Okay, you can see that that total goes down. My monthly payment goes down. If I increase the number of years, so say let's go to 35 years, okay, that reduces my monthly payment. But again, now I'm paying more in the end because I'm paying more interest. Or if I knock that down to say 10 years, okay, that payment comes, the, the monthly payment is going to go way up, but the total payment is going to go way down. So you can play around with these numbers and see what impact a changing interest rate or changing the amount of time you're going to pay it off in has on the monthly payments and then the total amount that you paid.